Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Jacob. We're going to continue the examination of technology and specifically apps on our phones that can help us whether we're e-scouting, scouting with boots on the ground, or hunting. And today we're looking at nine weather apps that you may or may not have on your phone already and determining which of these can be really helpful in understanding weather. It's obviously critical for us as hunters to understand what the weather's doing, whether it's uh, the, the wind direction or a switch in wind or uh, precipitation or temperature drops or barometric pressure or some even as it relates to moon phase. And so we're going to look at nine of these and we'll start with AccuWeather, Climb, Ventusky, WeatherBug, the Weather Channel, Windy, Windy.app, Wind Finder, and Weather Underground, or also known as Wonderground. Now, um, each of these on their own, I mean, some of them do have some value, and um, we'll go through that in a moment. I have a spreadsheet that I created on my, uh, that I, that if you go to my Instagram uh, at J underscore Coons underscore Hunt, you'll click on a link in my profile. You'll be able to find this spreadsheet. It's very detailed in terms of the offering. Uh, it also looks at what the pro or the premium pricing is. For our purposes, I was just looking at them at the free level to see if there's value at the free level for us or not. Because let's face it, we'd rather spend our money on gear or tags and not on another app. So um, I'm going to ask you a question though. What does a GFS mean to you? Or what does ECMWF mean to you as it relates to your weather app? Well, the answer is GFS and ECMWF are both global forecasting models that are used. The, um, the glo uh, GFS is the global forecasting system. It's U.S. based. It's a free weather forecasting model. So what you'll find is a lot of apps and even a lot of maybe a lot of other places where we get weather information uh, they're using maybe the global forecasting system or data from it the european center for medium range weather forecast or ecmwf by all accounts is considered the most accurate weather forecasting model and it is not free and so it's likely that we're not getting that data when we're using one of these weather apps, or if we're relying on a weather forecast that comes from like um, Huntcast, which is a part of the Huntwise app, or Deercast, which is a product of Drury Outdoors, they might be using the GFS model, or they might be using some other free model, but we don't really know. Um, so how great would it be if we could look at all the models ourselves and sort of determine what we think is going to take place based on sort of the average of the, the, the accumulation or the accumulation of these different models. That would be great because I would like to see that in a comparative fashion and see, oh, they all align that it's going to be a southwest wind this afternoon. Or they all align and say that there's truly going to be um, a snowstorm coming in. Or they don't align and there's a lot of variability in the wind forecast or the snow or whatever aspect of weather that you're evaluating. So there's also um, a million other weather forecasting models and I'll share with you some here that I have on a sheet. Uh, Icon is a German model. Meteo Blue is a Swiss model and is excels in Alpine areas. There's um, I mean, there's just a number of them. Uh, the North American model is a regional model. It's a U.S.-based model. And the high-resolution rapid refresh is a U.S.-based regional model. So you've got a lot of different forecast models. And what I'm going to do now is just go through some of the apps that I would not recommend downloading just because they're a pure waste of time. 
And then three apps that uh, you might want to download just for you know everyday use and, and just for your purposes of playing around with. And then we'll take a deeper look at the, at the end of this video at three that I would definitely recommend downloading. And I will show you on my phone how I use them and what I like about them. And I'll, uh, we'll go through that even a little bit more in depth. But just, you know, from the, the outset, we'll start with uh, the, I think the, the least, the, the app that I definitely wouldn't download is Climb. I have that as number nine. And it's, it's the free level is, is, it has radar and basic precipitation. It doesn't have a lot of information. It's really um, just something that is trying to uh, upsell you to their $19.99 premium or their pro rate where you get a 14-day forecast and you get a lot of other detail. And certainly, if it's something like you want to spend money on, by all means, check it out. But I would not recommend downloading Climb. The uh, Coming in at number eight would be WindFinder. Uh, please don't confuse that with some of the other ones that are named start with the name Wind. Windfinder, uh, it, it doesn't have uh, a lot of information. It does use the GFS model, which is that free global model that I mentioned earlier. And again, just no special tools or layers or anything of that nature. Coming in at number seven is Weatherbug. And I can tell you Weatherbug wins the award for most ads. They have ads all over the place. And if you spend $9.99 a year, you can get it for ad-free. I mean, there are some things, some tools that Weatherbug offers that might be of value. But I just, I think ultimately you're going to find some of that information on other platforms that don't have as many ads and they're also free. So that was um, the 9, 8, and 7. Let's look at number 6. Uh, AccuWeather is... You know, I keep I gave that a yellow. Uh, it's definitely, it's actually a pretty good tool, and and maybe it should be sort of ranked higher than six because you get a lot of information from AccuWeather. It and it doesn't tell you what forecast model they use. It says they they use data from 170 plus forecast models, but they don't really share what the specifics are. But you can get hourly wind. It's uh, four the next four days. Uh, of hourly wind, and then there's a lot of other tools with the AccuWeather. The uh, coming in at number uh, five is the Weather Channel. If you don't have that, you probably, uh, I think most of us have the Weather Channel. Uh, it's a very general 14 day forecast. They will not tell you the forecast model. And um, for $29.99 for their annual uh, pro pricing, you get it, it for ad free, and you get um, an extended uh, forecast, uh, 192 hour forecast. So in a 72, 72 hour future radar. So again, it's a yellow. Certainly, it's something that you may want to have if you don't already have. Number four is Windy Dot App, and um, this is one that I actually I tried the free, and then I upgraded to the the pro pricing, I got it for $9.99 a month. So I, I did it for one month. And the reason being is that the free version, you get the, the global forecast uh, model or forecast system model that's free, but you can ac get access to 10 weather models with the, uh, with the pro level pricing. And, you know, I played around with that. It's, it, it's, it's okay. It's not great. I don't think it's worth the the pro pricing, to be quite honest with you. But you do get access to those models, and you can switch them, inter, you know, switch them and mess around with that. So the next three that, um, or I'm sorry, um, yeah. So those those were uh, sort of the six that are sort of red and yellow. Now we're going to pivot to the top three and look at those in the handheld version. And I'll share with you the, the reason why these are the top three apps, uh, weather apps that I would recommend you download. Uh, many of you may already be using Wonderground. It, uh, the desktop version does offer 
historical weather data, which is most of us are trying to do is understand patterns of movement with whatever game we're chasing. And, and specifically if it's, you know, a south wind or if it's certain barometric pressure or a certain moon phase, that sort of thing. So that's one of the value adds with weather underground on the desktop. We're going to take a look at the uh, handheld experience. And so here you see the opening page. You already see a lot of ads. Now, if you want to get rid of ads for $19.99, you get the pro level and you can, you'll be able to remove those ads and you'll get instead of this, the free version offers 10 days hourly forecast. And you can see that here as I'm scrolling, you can see temperature, what it feels like, lower down its precipitation, humidity. And I really like this experience because you can see specifically hour by hour what's happening in terms of wind, wind speed, wind direction. So you can get that extended out to 15 days if uh, you pay for the $29.99 Pro level. There you see the sun and the moon um, setting and rising data. We're going to pull up the map here and you see there's different layers that you can play with and you can also click on a particular uh, spot on this map. And maybe that's like a specific weather station, I presume, that's going to give you some, some specific local data. So all told, Weatherground comes in at number three, but quite honestly, we should all have this app on our phone. It's a really solid uh, weather tool, and it doesn't tell you what forecast model they use. It says they use over 250,000 weather stations. It is owned by IBM, and um, great app. Let's take a look at, uh, we'll move on from this one and take a look at the next one here, which is Ventusky. And... Ventusky is uh, for the pro level, it's $3.99, and you get 16 levels of wind, snow, cloud uh, cover, uh, air pressure. There's a, there's a few more ads. It is a 10 day, three hour block forecast. You'll see that here in a, in a minute. And so I'm going to go ahead and start the handheld experience here. And um, right away, uh, You'll see I'm scrolling here. You see the three-hour blocks, and you sort of see what the wind is doing, the temperature is doing, precipitation, cloud cover, all of that. Uh, it's a um, what the dip, point of differentiation here with Ventusky is the fact that you can change your forecast model, and you can see all of them right here. There's a boatload of forecast models, and unfortunately, I would like to use them. You know, I'd like to pick at least five to to compare those up against each other. Unfortunately, that's a limitation of Ventusky, but it does allow you to to change to pretty much every any forecast model that you'd like. And you can see some of the origins. The icon that I just pulled up here is, I believe, a German forecasting model. So uh, Ventusky, excellent app. I highly recommend that uh, you download it and have it as something that you can use to cross-reference with maybe other apps that you're using. Definitely some value here um, you know, as a free app. And then if you choose to go to $3.99 a year, which is really not that much to get to the pro level, you can get some additional tools. The, the weather app that I believe every hunter should have is windy and it's the we're going to dive into the handheld experience now uh, because i really think that there's a lot here and i want you all to sort of see this so you can see sort of the general weather 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 or wind pattern there you can save spots so i pulled up an area near colorado springs and i'm scrolling left to right you can see it's three hour blocks um, five days, so which is very limited. The it would you know ideally to be five, ten days or fifteen days, but it's five days. But quite honestly, we all know that uh, that can change. Uh, no, no, this is the this is what's really interesting is you get access to weather cams, and I hope that you caught that. I think you're going to see that here again in a moment. So now I'm. I'm switching to different forecast models along the bottom. I'm, there's about 
There's six of them listed there. And you can uh, use any of those five, or as you'll see in a moment here, you can actually use all five at once, which I think is uh, outstanding. Here I've clicked on wind, and I can see the forecast models for the wind for all of those different uh, models. And you can see the variance between them as I move day to day forward. And this is the value add. This is the, the separator, I suppose, in my opinion, from for the other apps. Now, I have found a spot that I like. I'm going to send a, set up a wind alert. You can see I'm changing it north, northeast, northwest, uh, miles per hour. And uh, this will notify, notify me either via text or email or both. And so, great tool. I've now saved that favorite, and now I have an alert. Um, so, uh, we're going to look at some other. This is reported wind in certain areas. I believe this might be data from weather stations or, or other uh, contributor sites. So, it's very specific. And now we're going to see all of the various webcams that are available to, at our fingertips across the state of Colorado. Now, how great would that be to, to, to actually see the weather that's taking place in an area that I'm traveling to? And all, all on my phone for free. And, and I think, again, this is what separates this app from other applications. Now I'm finding a particular point on the map. Um, again, I'm accessing some of the different webcams to see current weather. And um, now I'm finding different, I'm moving to a different spot and again using some of the, the, the comparative features here. And that, uh, that concludes the handheld experience. So the Windy app, not to be confused with Windy.app or WindFinder. Windy, is, and you can see the logo there, uh, highly recommend. I uh, can't recommend this application enough. Uh, do yourself a favor and download it. If you go for the pro level, it's $29.99. You get... Um, a one-hour block forecast instead of a three-hour block forecast. So I think it's still the five days, but it's one hours. It's it's every one hour, and there's no ads or cookies, um, and it, it it has some other options as well. Well, I hope you found that to be useful and helpful. Uh, again, I think there's some great tools there that you can use as we look uh, into uh, hunt, hunting season, whether you know whether it's deer or elk, or turkey, or whatever it is. I hope you can use those, those platforms and those will help you. Again, if you want the uh, specific spreadsheet, feel free to go to my Instagram page and download it there for free. And um, you know, let me know uh, if you have you know, constructive, positive feedback. I'd love to know what you thought about this video. Certainly subscribe uh, and like the video. And um, you know, I'll continue to do more dives into um, whether it's apps or other gear or other things that we use as hunters to help determine what, what really is the best for us uh, in terms of our investment of time, money, and energy. Thanks so much. Good luck this season and look forward to connecting with you all down the road. Thank you.